All right. Here are three most important things to do before embarking on a hunt, you chicken hunting bastards. As you might already noticed, your health and stamina are very low in general, no matter what kind of equipment you have. So to counter that, we're going to use items that will boost HP and stamina until we die faint, or however you want to call it. To boost your HP levels, you're going to need nutrients, mega nutrients and or max potion. Go to your crafting list and check all three of these. If you don't have max potion yet, you're going to get it later on. Easy method to obtain nutrients and mega nutrients is by going to the botanical research and then cultivating bitter bugs and blue mushrooms. Also, you can find a lot of these during your game time, so you don't have to worry about missing a lot on these. But botanical research is a fixed way on how to get these whenever you want. Depending how long they will stay at botanical research, you can collect number of these. I don't know if this is directly connected to the amount of missions you've done before or is it time based? I personally check it after every mission. Now that you have these two ingredients, you can craft nutrients. And to craft mega nutrients, you need honey. Honey can be also cultivated at the botanical research and it can also be found at many locations in every area of the game. Using nutrients or mega nutrients in quick succession will raise your max HP levels up to the limit. Limit is shown by a white barrier on the right side that will blink when you get to the maximum level of HP or stamina that you can have at that moment. In short, mega nutrients and nutrients effect stacks. To get max potion, you're gonna need Mandragora plant plus great nutrient. Mandragora plant is a rare herb, but I will show you how you can farm it in ancient forest. Just follow the path indicated in the video and you'll stumble on about four or five Mandragora nodes that also respawn very, very quickly.
Second most important thing is stamina. You can do the same thing with stamina as you can with health. You can boost it to the limit. In every area that you are, find these non-aggressive creatures that are roaming around and kill them. Some of them will give you raw meat when you skin them. And then use that raw meat and cook it on barbecue spit, as the game says. Choose barbecue spit on your item pouch and then listen to the music. When the music is about to stop, press circle button to remove the meat from the fire so that you don't overcook it. The better your timing, more stamina you will get from the steak. Effects of well done steak stack, same as mega nutrients. And this is really easy method to farm raw meat and cook it so that you can have your stamina at max. Third most important thing that you should always do is visit canteen at your camp or HQ. Canteen gives you an option to eat meals. Meals are really cheap and they can pay off tremendously. Currently I only have three possible effects to get. Attack up, defense up, elemental resistance up. In brackets it says how big of a boost you'll get. S is for slight, M is for medium and I'm guessing L will be large when I get to that point. Next to these boosts you'll also get boosts to your HP and stamina. And next to that you'll also receive food skills. If you press touchpad on any meal you'll see this screen with explanation on what food skills you will receive. There is also an activation source, how these skills will be activated. To be perfectly honest, I don't know how this works. I don't understand activation sources, I don't understand these icons. If someone can explain that in comments, I would greatly appreciate it and I'm guessing a lot of other people would too. So I will leave this to people who know better. Even if we discount food skills, getting that attack, defense or elemental resistance up next to HP and stamina boost is a huge, huge plus and you'll get it for almost no money whatsoever. Food effects last until hunt is over, you get back to HQ or withdraw from quest or until you die. Faint, that is. That would be it for this video, thanks for watching. In my opinion, these are the three most important things to do before every hunt, because it will greatly improve your survival chances. Next to that, you can always add different items that will boost your offense, defense or whatever. These are all bonuses, but this is basis that you always need to have with you to hunt down some big chickens. That would be it, chicken hunting bastards. Have fun.